When it comes to negotiating your salary, often people are in their heads and they're looking at it from a wrong angle. My name is Lauren Simmons and I made history in 2017 by becoming the youngest trader at the New York Stock Exchange and today I'm an entrepreneur. As someone who was making $12,000, I, at the time working at the New York Stock Exchange, I loved my job. The minimum wage at the time in New York City was around $60,000. I think they were paying me $7 an hour. They bumped it to $8 an hour. But what they told me was after I passed my Series 19, we could have a very large conversation about increasing my salary significantly. Well, that didn't happen and um, I was okay with that. I was, again, just thinking short term, I was okay with that, I loved my job. When it comes to negotiating your salary, often people are in their heads and they're looking at it from a wrong angle. You have to put together your absolute wants, your absolute what you can compromise on, and your absolute no's. And when you're thinking about salary, it doesn't always have to be about money. It can be vacation time, it can be relocation, it can be paying off student loans. There are so many things that goes into your salary package that I want you to think outside the box of, I only want this dollar amount, and what are the other things that you want? Once I started thinking about my future and what that meant for my career, I had to have an internal conversation with myself of the absolute non-negotiables of what I was gonna do going forward and how I was gonna put together my exit strategy. The non-negotiable for me, knowing that other people around me were making 120,000, I wasn't going below 120,000. I also was not going to be in an environment where we were not permitted to have any days off. We were only allowed four days off at my company, which is just wild. You may love a job, but loving a job is only gonna get you to a certain level, and being money motivated is only gonna get you to a certain level. It's finding this healthy balance to be able to merge the two and to be able to be happy with both because there is no world where you have to in the long term compromise one over the other.